went to a museum with a tour guide. I'm a big museum geek, and the one time I had a tour guide changed my whole experience. By the way, this is Sarah from User Guiding, and this is your quick guide to what user onboarding is and what it is not. Now, back to my metaphor. A tour guide is super similar to user onboarding. It shows you around, gives you info on everything, or the most important things depending on your time, does it where and when appropriate, and if you have a good guide, they even personalize a tour for you, like, first time in the lure, let's get you to Mona Lisa right away. In user onboarding terms, we call Mona Lisa an aha moment, and for first time visitors, the faster you get there, the better. Got the basics? Cool. Let's talk a bit about actual definitions. According to Samuel Hulek, the brains behind useronboard.com, user onboarding is the process of radically increasing the likelihood that new users become successful when adopting your product. So basically, any UX element you use to do that can be considered an onboarding UX element. Sorta. Like, this product tour by Figma? Absolutely. Cool tooltip by Slack? Ding, ding, ding. This absolute banger of a user checklist by Calendly? Oh yeah, pass that Duolingo illustration, even that. So then, what is not user onboarding? Let's dive into that. Well, not much. If it delivers a user to success and value using the right UX elements, it's pretty much user onboarding. For example, this employee onboarding sequence by Rem is also user onboarding. This email you get after signing up to Headspace, that cute little smiley chatbot on any website you go on these days, the stuff you put on your help center and the stuff you put on your resource center from your help center. All that directly or indirectly brings a user to value and success, which then leads to higher user retention, which then leads to higher revenue. So what is user onboarding in my terms? Your closest friend when it comes to keeping your users and increasing revenue exponentially. But hey, we've got more to come. Subscribe and ring the bell for tips and tricks on user onboarding, my personal favorite examples, and how you can start increasing activation today. This was Sarah from User Guiding. See you next time.